Well, happy Valentine's Day, friends. Pastor Harold here. Hey, I just want to invite you to go on the Red Letter Challenge 40-Day Lenten Disciple Study that we're going to do. It starts Ash Wednesday. If you haven't ordered your book already, please do it. Just go to redletterchallenge.com or go to amazon.com or Christian Bookstores or cokesbury.com. Whatever your favorite vendor is online to order your book, just get it ordered. Have them rush it to you if you have to. Um, but get it and go on this journey with us. We start on Ash Wednesday. I'll be posting videos every day and I'll be posting videos starting tomorrow, leading us up to Wednesday, preparing us for this study. But then we actually start the stuff, the stuff, the work and the, and the study itself on Wednesday, Ash Wednesday. So be ready. It's going to be awesome. It's going to make a big difference in your life. If you never really felt like you've been discipled, I can promise you after this 40 days you will. This is the stuff we need to be doing, friends. We all need to be discipled, but then we need to be walking shoulder to shoulder with other people and helping them get discipled. So that's a movement we're really going to press on in 2021 inside our church family, is to have discipleship classes, making disciples, because that is the ultimate commission, the Great Commission. Make disciples for the transformation of the world. And you can't make disciples if you haven't really become a disciple. And so this 40-day challenge is going to help you become a a disciple and it's going to change your life it won't always be easy it'll challenge you it'll press you but it's going to be awesome i can promise you you'll be so blessed at the end of this thing and then you're going to help other people do the same you're going to have to walk shoulder to shoulder with other people and help them rediscover life by helping them through discipleship courses and discipleship mentoring it's going to be powerful and we're going to do this not only inside our kingdom families but we're going to go out into the kingdom which is the whole world and we're going to do it on a big scale and it's going to be awesome. So I'm excited to go on this journey with you, but really do it. I know there's some of you sitting there, I can't do that. I'm afraid to do that. Just do it. This is what you're called to do. You're called to be a follower of Jesus Christ, not just a fan, not just somebody who shows up on Sunday and checks a box. You're called to come all the way in, sit all the way down and give yourself to this kingdom movement. So that's what I'm inviting you to do. This work by Pastor Zach will help us do that. Fabulous book. It's going to be great. Come on this journey. It's getting ready to start. Let's do it. Hello, Kingdom family. I just want to invite you to our Ash Wednesday service. It'll be a virtual Ash Wednesday, and it'll be on this coming Wednesday at 7 p.m. So you're invited to do that. I encourage you to invite friends and family, co-workers, whoever, to join us. You can find the Zoom information in our private Facebook group. I've also emailed it out, and if you don't have that information, please let me know. I'll be glad to get it. But it's also on our Hillsboro public Facebook page and also our transformation public Facebook page but you should be able to find it there no problem but if you have any problems let me know but I hope you join us on Wednesday evening at seven o'clock and how we will do the ashes um, is I'm going to have you have to take a piece of paper in the safety of your home and using safe uh, a safe uh, bowl or plate stainless steel preferably whatever you have that's fireproof and what we're going to do is we're going to I'm going to have each of you have a three by five index card or you can use a piece of paper whatever you don't need a whole lot but what i'm going to have you to do and what we're going to do as a group exercise that evening is that whatever sin character defect shortcoming uh, however you want to frame it that you have going on in your life that you just can't seem to shake it's that one two or three things that you just seem to keep happening over and over again. Something that you really want to give up for Lent. Something that you really want to give over to God. That you just really want this to become objectionable to you and you just want to hand it over to God and you really want to be transformed in this area of your life. This is what Lent's all about. It's just to confess our sins, acknowledge that we're sinners, acknowledge that we're fatally flawed, seeking forgiveness, but we, we write out you know our sins and, and, and this is what we'll do. We'll write them out. So whatever you're going to write down you just write it down and i'll have you just burn it put it in your fireproof thing uh, don't do it over a, you know a smoke alarm or a uh, sprinkler head uh, but just go ahead and burn it and let it turn to ash and don't burn your fingers doing it don't catch yourself on fire kids don't do this without a parent in the room uh, but just let it burn you know, and we'll do this in a very spiritual way on, on Wednesday night. 
and I'm just giving you a demonstration of how this will work. And then let that cool. And then when we get to the point where we're going to administer ashes, you'll do this obviously to yourself. If you have your spouse or your family, you can do it for each other. I think that's a powerful experience to have. Where you'll just simply put that your finger into the ashes and you'll make the sign of the cross. There's some words that'll be said and we'll go through all that on Wednesday night. But this will be a powerful way, friends, for us to not miss out on Ash Wednesday because of COVID-19, but also a really fun way, but a really spiritual way, I think, to be able to do this in the privacy of your home with your family if they're around. If you're single, it's, you're going to be doing it with a community of people. And, uh, and, and it'll just be a beautiful way to bring in the Lenten season. So be praying about it. What are, what are the one, two, or three things that you just really, you know, you just really want to give up? You're just tired of these things being in your life. They, they're not serving you well. Um, they're becoming objectionable to you. Um, you really wouldn't want the world to know about these things or just part of your character. But God already knows your heart, already knows your character. But it's just part of your, your submit. You're turning it over to God. You're becoming willing to repent. Um, it's really a powerful exercise. So I hope you join us on it. Again, this Wednesday, Ash Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on Zoom. And this is a, a collective between UMC, HUMC, and TUMC. We'll be coming together for this. And then anybody else on the outside that would like to join us, we'd love to have them. It'll be a 30-minute service. It'll be powerful. It'll be time for prayer. There'll be music. It'll be great. So I hope you join us.